what's going on guys welcome back to the channel this is just going to be a short video on some of the ways that i find easy to send or transfer photos videos and files from android to ios or vice versa if you're sharing between android devices you have rcs and nearby share as well as some other services and you have imessage and airdrop on ios but the problem comes well not really a problem more of an annoyance when you're trying to do it between both platforms I have friends and family that are on both. So it would have been nice if there was like a native universal messaging or sharing app that's built in and works across both platforms somehow. So if you want to share photos and videos in the original quality and you're on iOS, just go to your photos app, select whatever you want to share, then click the share button down here. Scroll down until you see copy iCloud link. And whoever you send the link to will be able to view or download the photos or videos that you sent over. And it's basically the same thing on Android. Just go ahead and go to your galleries app. Select the photos that you wish to send over. Press share. And then you will press the copy link icon. Mine may look different because I'm running a One UI 4 beta and it's been relocated under quick share. So I'm going to go ahead and press quick share, then share in app, then copy link. And send it over to whoever you want to share with. You can also do this within uh, Google Photos. Just go ahead and go to the Google Photos app. Select whatever you want to share. And it's the same process as before. Just press the share icon, then create link and send it to whomever this is also how i do it with google docs and dropbox whenever i want to share files for example if i go to google docs i'll just select this file right here then copy link and if i send that link to somebody else they'll be able to view that document that i sent over that's basically the same process when you're sharing through google services whether it be photos, videos, docs, files, whatever. You just press the share icon and then look for the create link icon. Also, when you're in Google Photos, you have the option of sending the photos and videos within the app itself without creating a link. Just press share. And you could search for the people you want to send to or type the person's name, phone number or email in. And they will receive a notification within the Google Photos app. Another method I use is snapdrop.net. With this, both devices would need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So this will be best if like, you're trying to transfer files between devices. And as soon as you go to the website, it will start scanning for nearby users. On the bottom, it will show you your code name and the same goes for the device that you're sending to. All you have to do is just tap on the person's name and it'll give you an option to record, take a photo or choose from your gallery or files. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick pick. And as you can see, it already downloaded. You can go ahead and click save. You also have the option of sending the user a message. Just press and hold on the, the person's icon. And you could type them a message. And it will be received. There's also an app you could download for both of these both of these devices, but I just find it easier to save the web page to your home screen. If you're on iOS, just go to the share button, scroll down, and add to home screen. Press add, and it's already added there. On Android, and if you're using Samsung internet, you just go right here to the arrow pointing down to download, or go to the menu button, add page two, and then click app screen, then install. And there it is. On Chrome is the same thing. Just go to Chrome, snapdrop.net, press the menu button, then install app. Then press install, then it will be added to your home screen. 
that was just a few easy methods that I use whether I'm transferring files between devices in the house or if I want to send someone a file or videos and photos in the original quality without degradation. Is there any easy ways that you guys know of? Let me know down below and I'll catch you in the next one.